crazy happy by Christmas. My name is Cindy Tevens. I'm the spiritual facilitator who keeps it real. And this is pre-training number two, the power of love and joy. So I have five points for you on this. One is that love and joy heals the mind. How? Because it shuts out painful thinking. For the most part, the mind must match the feeling. Thoughts must match feelings. So some people might think that this is some form of denial. It's not. It's simple. Happiness is simple. Wherever your attention is, that's what you get to feel. It's sort of like if you touch something hot, you get to feel hot. If you touch something cold, you get to feel cold. So where's your attention? It's one of your powers. I'm giving you some insider training already. All right. So if your attention is on love and joy, that's what it's on. You can't feel any suffering. You can't think any suffering while you're doing that. We must be congruent. And that's why when you feel happy, everything looks great. And when you feel miserable, everything looks terrible. It's not true. It's an illusion that we're creating. So I invite you to come and learn this in the crazy happy by Christmas challenge running for five days. You can join me at crazyhappy.ca, not .com, .ca, because I'm a crazy Canuck. Uh, point number two, the power of love and joy, you know, it shuts down the mind because it's very real, especially laughter. And the mind is imaginary. You can't have both the real and the imaginary at the same time. So this is why I urge everybody to get real and to leave the imaginary mind alone. Of course, you have to recognize it to be able to do that. And that's what I do. That's what all these trainings are about. So it heals the mind also by making you one pointed. When you are on love and joy, you can't be anywhere else. And the mind loves this. The body mind loves this. It calms the mind and it calms the body. So no problems are created in the mind so it can relax. Okay, so point number two about the power of love and joy is that it opens you to wisdom. You see, suffering is a stupid state. What do I mean by stupid? It's a limited state. When you get, you know, a one track mind, when you are so certain something is this way and that's all you're thinking about and that's all you're feeling and that's all you're thinking about and that's all you're feeling. That's my point. You're not accessing anything else. It's all here. There's other possibilities, but you're not knowing it. And so all you're knowing in that moment is your mind and the story in the movie in the mind that I speak about. And so it is a very limited state, AKA a very stupid state. Now you have limited access beyond what's playing in the movie in the mind when you're doing that. And so happiness, love and joy opens you up to way more possibilities and it calms and heals the body, which improves your health. We know that we have scientific experiments that prove that that there is the healing state that you want to get the body in as often as possible. And that's what's going to happen this week in the Crazy Happy by Christmas Challenge. Now, the other benefit, you have better behavior, don't you, when you feel better? You act better even in a challenging situation. And you think better. You're more compassionate. You're more available to the moment and to other people that you love. And you're more available to deal with people maybe you don't love so much. So you get better results. That's my final point. In the power of love and joy, you get better results acting out of it than acting out of pain, hurt, anger, or anything else. And if you've never tried it, you probably don't know that that's true. So I hope you discover it this week if you don't know. And if you do know, I hope you pump it up and that you start using the power of happiness, love, and joy for yourself for others, for the whole world. Hope you join me. Crazyhappy.ca. See you there.